Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make KNO3 rocket fuel. You will need some sort of uh, either a torch or some sort of barbecue lighter to ignite this. And you will need spectricide stump remover. Spectricide stump remover is basically 100% potassium nitrate. You will need 40 grams of sugar. Now, some people, when they make sugar rocket engines, use powdered sugar, which is probably best, but you can also use granulated sugar. So let's uh, add that into the mixture. There's 40 grams of granulated sugar. and 60 grams of potassium nitrate, which is stump remover. Now, not all stump removers have potassium nitrate. So make sure you read what is in the stump remover to make sure that it for sure is potassium nitrate. Make sure that it's well mixed and also if you have a blender at home uh, not one that's maybe in good shape but one that's just kind of a, maybe a junk blender uh, you might want to grind this up in the blender but definitely don't use the blender after you make the rocket fuel. That would not be healthy. Just keep mixing it. You want to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. Then let's pour it out on the table. And let's test out our homemade KNO3 rocket fuel, sometimes referred to as rocket candy. As you can see, the granulated sugar and the potassium nitrate working together as a fuel and oxidizer causes a major thrust and uh, that will propel your rocket hundreds if not thousands of feet into the sky depending on the rocket's weight. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Brian Baxter Science. And I'll see you next time.